now. Your first alert five weather. Well, many of you, our viewers, went out to explore Colorado over Labor Day weekend, and it was absolutely gorgeous. Here's Twin Lakes, which is just outside of Leadville, a beautiful area near Mount Massive. Thanks, Jeff, for sharing your perspective. And Carter was near Canyon City doing some off-roading in his four-wheeler, capturing some sheep and beautiful scenery. Now we've had some really nice weather. It has been downright hot in the plains. The mountains have been certainly much more comfortable this weekend, but for the past three days at least, we've been 10 degrees above average with our highs. It's still 90 in Canyon City and it's well past six o'clock now. So definitely toasty this afternoon. Part of the reason why we're so warm today is because we have a down sloping west southwest wind and that helps to heat us up. We're seeing wind gusts anywhere from about 20 to 30 miles per hour right now. And with the wind and the dry air, that has increased our fire danger today. And our winds are going to gradually start to decrease this evening, but remaining on the breezy side overnight, gusting 15 to 20 miles per hour as a cold front moves in. Now this cold front will help to bring us some cooler temperatures tomorrow. It's still going to be a little breezy behind that front with those northerly winds, but that northerly wind is bringing in some slightly cooler temperatures. So in comparison to right now, tomorrow is going to feel nicer. 70s, 80s and 90s out there at this hour. Eventually tonight we'll drop to the 40s, 50s and a couple of 60s. And then tomorrow we'll be back to seasonable temperatures. So we're cooling down, not by a ton, but 79 in the Springs will feel refreshing tomorrow, 86 in Pueblo, and we'll be right on our average highs for early September. For the mountains, we'll be into the 70s and 80s tomorrow. And same goes for the plains, 70s and 80s. We're gonna feel a much bigger difference in the plains from this front because it's moving through the plains and it's tougher for that cooler air to make it over our mountain rangers, ranges and get into our mountain valleys. Now in the Pikes Peak region tomorrow, we're mostly talking 70s. Our hot spot will be Fort Carson and Fountain at 80. Cool spot, Cripple Creek at 66. Then we'll see mid 80s along the Arkansas River from Fowler at 86 to Pueblo as well. 84 for Pueblo West and Canyon City for your Tuesday. But this relief from the heat is only brief. We're gonna be rising right back up to the 80s by Wednesday. 89 will be our next warm day on Thursday. And then we stay warm, dry and breezy throughout the weekend. Then our next major shift comes in by next Monday, a full week from now, our next cold front arrives, brings us some showers, and it will leave us cooler for a couple of days, not just the one day cool down for tonight's front. Now for Pueblo, you're gonna drop to the middle 80s tomorrow, but then those 90s return as soon as Wednesday. We stay in the 90s throughout the weekend, but then 79 by next Monday, that's some nice relief once that next cold front moves in. Of course, those details will likely change as we get closer, get better data coming in. So we'll keep you updated. For Canyon City, you are looking at that slight cool down to the middle 80s tomorrow, then the 90s return on Thursday. And finally, for Woodland Park, we are talking a nice refreshing 72 tomorrow, but then awfully close to 80 as soon as Thursday. Nice and warm over the weekend. Your showers return earlier by Sunday.